There's one technique that I started when I was five years old that I've spent the last four decades learning how to do better and better. The technique that I've learned for holding my breath during Drowned Alive was essential and even allowed me to break a world record just by learning to control my breathing and slow my heart rate. One of the possible threats on my next stunt is a potentially fatal condition called hypoxia. Hypoxia is when you don't get enough oxygen because you go too high and you're not in a pressurized cabin like an airplane, so you're breathing the air that has less oxygen. When you become hypoxic, you have no idea what you're doing, so you're completely foggy. It's like you're drunk. But the breathing technique can actually help me override hypoxia by keeping my blood oxygen levels saturated and high. We did the first reading at takeoff, which is 200 feet. I was 98% O2, and David was 97. As we ascended to higher altitudes, Luke's oxygen levels began to drop. By using the same breathing techniques that I've learned, I was able to keep my blood oxygen levels normal more than three miles above sea level. We're at 18. I'm still good. Slight hypoxic. <laughs> Once we reached our peak altitude, my oxygen level was dropping as well, so I needed to breathe pure O2 to recover. I'll need to improve my technique to prevent hypoxia. There's no footage, there's nothing of someone going up to extreme altitudes using this technique and being perfectly fine. Look at this. He's at 85 O2 level, minus 98. When I'm shooting my specials, people always ask me if what I'm doing is real or is it magic. One of the things I often demonstrate to answer them is teaching them how to hold their breath longer than they realize is possible. Some of them even find it relevant to what they do. Winter's like right around the corner and, and learning how to breathe properly, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Here's Jamie. Yeah! I know it's gonna benefit me surfing. Even if I can get to like two minutes, two and a half minutes, I'll be happy. Before we start, we're gonna do a test. I'm gonna say take a deep breath in, everybody hold. Hold your hand up. Take a deep breath in and hold. The average of human breath holding is about a minute. That was 141, yeah. very impressive. Good. It's a minute 45. Most people don't realize that they can hold their breath for longer than a minute. And I've taught many people over the years how to hold their breath for three to four minutes. Don't try that on your own, but... <laughs> so now I'm going to explain the process to you. You're going to take a deep breath in, then we're going to hold for a second, and then we're going to exhale for about 10 seconds. It's going to flush the CO2 out of your bloodstream. You will get numb feelings in your lips. You might get tingly in your fingers. And imagine you're blowing a toy boat over the surface of a pool. And don't do it to the point that you're blacking out, but push it enough. And then a huge breath in and hold. Good. Feel tingly. The air is overflowing. It feels like it's going to come out. Just hold. Just hold it. Relax. And recover breath. You purged so hard that you blacked yourself out. Jim, Jim. Just keep recovering. It's, it's like the crazy blacked out in front of me. You fully just blacked out. I think the last one, when you were doing the purging, you were overdoing it. It's so easy to black out on that. We're going to do just a, a few minutes of this recovery breathing and then we're gonna get in the pool. If we get to three minutes and 30 seconds, we've passed Houdini's lifelong record. If we get to four minutes, we're at the elite Navy SEAL guys. We're at the very top. Huge breath in. And go under when you're ready. 
Just get as comfortable as you can. Give me a signal if you're okay. Give me a signal if you're okay. Good, three minutes is great. Cover. Cover three. Good job, everyone. Oh, awesome. We're all part of it. You did 445. Wow. Jesus, oh. baby. <laughs> 445 is no joke. That's, that's serious. For your first time, like. So that's completely yeah. changed how I surf. Like sometimes before a big drop, I'm just like, well, just in case I don't catch this. <gasps> and then get the drop and then like in the wave, I'll <sighs> exhale. How was your little blackout in the chair? And I felt like someone put a hat on my head. So you're like, where am I or? Yeah, you get lost. Like I didn't know where I was. Once we got past. Houdini. I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> we got past the Navy SEALs. And yeah, 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 yeah. Navy like, SEALs. Yeah. Happy harder. with this. <laughs> do not do this on your own yeah. when nobody's yeah. looking, because what happens is now that you have the technique, if you do it to the point that he did when we were practicing, he blacked out from right. pushing too hard. And if you black out underwater, no one's watching you. And shallow water death is is very easy. So yeah, yeah this just yeah. got dark. No. <laughs> Tomorrow, you guys will have like a slight little bit of a headache, but it goes away fast. I, I, I completely forgot to say that. But it's, a, it's a CO2 bullet, but it goes away. <laughs>